it would be responsible for me to declare that General Ogola was killed when I have not done an investigation and conclusively determined that he was killed. Okay. But his death is shrouded in mystery. And a lot of people like me do not want the rush and the muzzling tendencies that we saw at the funeral and surrounding his burial. His children spoke a, a bunch of rubbish. That boy does not know what he was talking about. Joel, his son. Complete rubbish. You know? You cannot say, and this one speaking even as a Luo, you cannot say there is any Luo man who says, bury me within 72 hours, bury me naked, don't eat at my funeral. What rubbish is that? Where was this boy raised? Mm. He has no authority to speak about the burial of his father, traditionally. He should have kept quiet and gone back to Nairobi. Yeah. And there is no way that as a son you can rule your father's death as accidental. Was he there? Let this thing be investigated professionally. I don't like the fact that the military are investigating it. Because what if he was killed by a fellow military man? What if his deputy killed him? What if other military people killed him? What if the thugs killed him and the military want to cover it? All these questions, there should be no question that cannot be asked. We need to ask all the questions. And they all need answers.